My name's Emily. I'm going to be taking you through five exercises with progressions, regressions, and common mistakes for each of them. The first exercise we're going to be doing is a Bulgarian split squat. So go ahead and grab a couple of dumbbells and place yourself about two feet in front of a bench or a chair. With your feet hip width apart, lift one of those legs up behind you, just using it for balance with your toes on the bench. And you're going to flex at your knee and your hip and your ankle with your chest up tall until about 90 degrees. If you want to make this exercise more difficult, go ahead and hold those dumbbells in a rack squat up on your shoulders. If both of those are both too challenging, you're going to hold a single dumbbell in front of your chest in a goblet squat. A common mistake we see for this exercise is leaning too far forward. So make sure you roll those shoulders back. Keep that chest nice and proud and engage those abdominal wrestles as you go down. The next exercise we're going to be doing is a bent over dumbbell row. Keep those feet hip width apart, slight bend in the knee, and hinge at the hip. First base exercise for this is going to be a pronated grip. Keep those thumbs pointing towards each other, roll those shoulders back, and then just flex at the elbow so you're bringing those dumbbells up into your armpits to challenge yourself. Go ahead and do this exercise with a supinated grip. And if those, if those are too difficult for you, hold those dumbbells in a neutral grip. A common mistake we see for this exercise is rounding of the thoracic spine. So make sure you roll those shoulders back. Imagine you were trying to keep a pencil in between the two of your shoulder blades. Next exercise we're going to be doing is a plank. Put those elbows underneath your shoulders, suction cup your palms to the ground. Keep your eyes directed towards the ground, curl your toes underneath them, and lift up that lumbopelvic region. If you want to make this exercise more challenging, throw in some alternating leg lifts. If both of those are too difficult for you, widen that base of support by just moving your legs. A common mistake we see with this exercise is deviation from the form. In order to prevent this, go ahead and engage those abdominal muscles. Imagine you are bracing yourself for a punch to the stomach. Next exercise we're going to be doing is a weighted glute bridge. Put that dumbbell up on your hips here, supporting it with your hands. Put those heels underneath your hips and drive that lumbopelvic region up by thrusting the weight through your heels. In order to make this more difficult, go ahead and put one foot in front of the other for a staggered stance. If both of those are too challenging, remove the dumbbell, bring your feet back to the base position, and just do a body weight glute bridge. A common mistake for this is hyperextension of the spine up at the top of the glute bridge. Prevent this, you're going to keep your new spine as neutral as possible. Imagine you're smashing a grape between your back and the ground before you come up into that glute bridge. The final exercise we're going to be doing are dead bugs. Go ahead and flex your hips, knees, and ankles so they're all at 90 degrees and extend your arms out in front of you with your palms facing one another. The base of this exercise is going to be extending your hips and your knees out in front of you. In order to progress this, go ahead and move your arms up over your ears at the same time so your biceps are covering your ears. If both of these are too challenging, go ahead and practice just flexing those arms up so your biceps are covering your ears. A common mistake we see for this exercise is again, hyperextending the spine. Keep that spine nice and neutral, engage those abdominal muscles and suck your belly button back into your spine while you perform this exercise. Good luck.